Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we haven't done this in a while, but we're gonna do a uh, tennis uh, slate uh, lineup build for uh, tomorrow's slate, which is Tuesday, October twenty second. We're probably gonna do it again if uh, I'm up in time uh, once we get late news and maybe update the projections a, a little bit. But again, purpose of these videos is to kind of show you a process that's repeatable. That um, and this is probably poor content, but the, the idea is that you watch these videos and it becomes less likely for you to have to watch these videos. You know, um, I'm using tomorrow's slate as an example, but just to kind of give you an idea of some of the choices you have to make, some of the ones you don't have to make in building these lineups. Now, tennis, uh, again, for those of you that are, are joining us for the first time with these tennis lineup builds, it's a very, uh, it's a difficult sport in a way because there's very little edge to be gained in the projection business. Uh, to be able to um, generate tennis projections is extremely trivial. Uh, very little, you'll, you'll find very little difference between uh, models, so to speak, when it comes to making tennis projections. So anybody that's playing this even remotely seriously is going to have access to pretty much the same projections. Um, yes, there's going to be a bunch of, you know, some people that have no clue, probably enough to pay the rake, I guess. But aside from that, you're going to have to be better than just using the projections. You're going to have to figure out how to get different. You're going to have to figure out how to get edges based on lineup construction, how to use the Sims and that type of thing. So uh, let's just see what we what we can do here with this slate to, to show you uh, some things you could do. So where we're playing 40 entries in the Lion Painter and we're playing one entry in the, um, the break point. Before we do anything, probably a good idea to... Um, well, before we run the Sims, uh, before before we even do anything, should probably just fill in some of this stuff for the, for the break point. Um, let me see. How many people are in the break point. Well, let's just see. Uh, upcoming, uh, let's see, sport. Oh, NBA is starting soon, huh? Um, okay, break point. There are 23 people. And so let's put this in. 23 people. It's still going to be 25 and 30. Uh, excuse me, 25 and 20. Um, actually, more like 30% for this one. And we'll we'll select the field lineups in a minute. Okay. So let's uh we won't use Saber Sims, we'll use my projections for now. Just to kind of show you what we're doing here. And first we're just going to this is where I keep this file. And then we're gonna build like a bunch of lineups. So we don't we don't have to build five thousand. I mean, to prove our point, we could build, you know, fifteen hundred probably. That's gonna be plenty. On a 14 match slate. I mean, actually, you could build 5,000. Maybe it's not the worst idea in the world. Um, the fact that we're using 47.5 as a minimum, again, theoretically, you shouldn't have to put a minimum in. In other words, as far as salary goes, if you get you know, a certain amount of projected fantasy points, I don't really care if you're not spending your whole salary. Um, in any case, so we're building 1,500 lineups and we're rating 41 of them because we're playing 40 lineups by certain metrics. Now, right now, it's being rated by this default large slate thing where I think it's healthy to kind of get into the weeds a little bit and see what this is actually doing for you. So it's 0.4 times the sum of my projections. It's a self-explanatory and then 0.6 times the 95th percentile outcome of the lineup and then we ding it for 0.3 times the average adjusted ownership so this this formula is actually designed to um you know to get yourself some upside uh and and to not be completely chalky so this is actually not bad um but i think it's probably a good idea to at least take advantage of the sims um to to do a little bit better. 
that is to compare your set of lineups to what we think the field is going to do. Before we do that, let's let's see what we would get if we just went with this, you know, um, the regular Saber Sim type build. We'd be getting 73% Draper, 65% um, uh, Greeks poor or whatever. And uh, at this point, you would want to decide whether you wanted to go more min uniques or not. Okay. Um, typically, you want to be as diverse as possible without sacrificing, you know, projection equity. So if you wanted to do that, you would go aggregate metrics and you're going to put average projected score. Save aggregate metrics. And so this puts this number, this 305 number over here. What that will do, oops. What that'll do is keep track of, of how much you're costing yourself by making changes. So like from I go from min uniques one to min uniques two, we'll be able to see that it goes from 305 to 305. So it doesn't really do anything. So you're probably gonna you could probably go as many more min uniques. Okay. Now it went down by 1.5. So arbitrarily, I'll consider that too much. And I'll go back to min uniques three. Um, and then I'll, you know, then I could put these in. That's if I did not want to run the Sims. Um, and, and that's actually not the worst idea in the world. Okay. Uh, we could put them right in like this. And we could save these to the contest. We, you know, let's just do that. We may as well. Just so we have something. But what this has done, again, this is, you know, given us the best 41 lineups that have been, you know, made somewhat diverse by going min uniques three. But what it has not done is tailored these lineups to the particular contest that I'm playing um, and how we would do on an ROI basis against those actual lineups. So let's go back and do that. So that's what this running the Sims is just all about. So the, the real question, and this is this is the 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 eight figure question, is what do we think that the rest of the field is going to do? Like if I knew what the field other field was going to play, then I could print money, you know, <laughs> then I could know exactly what type of leverage to get over what plays. But aside from that, we have to guess. You know, we have ownership projections and things like that, but we still have to guess. Now the good thing is is about with tennis. There's not a lot of correlation. Actually, I would say there's no correlation in tennis between plays. So you could probably equate a good ownership projection to uh, being able to predict how the field is going to behave. Okay. As opposed to say baseball and football and stuff where where you know you have to figure out what type of correlation, what type of stacks they're going to play. Um, or like say MMA, where you have to try to figure out how unique people are going to try to get and how they're going to do that and what type of money they're going to leave on the table. It's almost impossible to come up with a good um, contest field in that way. So the good news is if you have good ownership projections, then you could make a good contest field by just kind of saying, okay, let it reflect the ownership projection. But the problem is, is that, and I've been doing this for a while with tennis, being able to project tennis ownership is so hard. I, I, I've tracked sites that have tried to do it. They're terrible. I've tried myself. I'm just only mildly better. But yet still, the, the average difference between what I project and what is reality is really not to my liking, uh, if I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I, I don't know what it is about tennis, but there's it's but there's no site that I've seen, and myself included, that can really project tennis ownership in a way that I would think you'd be able to project it. The closest thing that I've been able to do uh, to create a contest field is this. While ownership projections have proven to be rather um rather fishy, Actual projections, as I mentioned, are extremely tight. As I, you know, as I said in the in the opening, it's not difficult to make tennis projections, and you're going to see very little variation between different models. 
So I think that what you can do is just presume that for the purposes of this discussion, that everybody's got the same projections and just build your, your contest field out of that. So in tennis, what's, what could be a good idea is to just, we built our 1500 lineups. Like how, how many, how many are going to be, people are going to be in this tournament? 1568, which is like pretty freaking close. So let's just presume that these 1500 that we built is going to represent what the field is going to do. Now there's a little difference here because, you know, you might get dupes and things like that, but I think this is at least a good start. If everybody's going to, you know, operate with these very similar projections and they're going to run stuff just like I would, uh, it's probably a good idea to, you know, to just go with build too. Like for example, excuse me, with, with our build, there might actually be a way to improve upon that, this though. And I, I think about it sometimes and, and to, to do it this way. The question is, is, do people use stuff like SaberSim to build their 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 fields? You remember, I built this fifteen hundred field with this. Um, actually, it's not true. What I was going to say is it was rated by a certain way. No, the, the, the whole field. It's not the top fifteen hundred rated that way. We only built fifteen hundred. What I was going to suggest is maybe, just maybe. You could build a lineup field with 1500 and just set it to projection. And maybe that is a, I think that might be a better representation of the field than using the Saber Sim 1500. So why don't, why don't we try that? Why don't we do this again? Let's, let's do another build, except now let's, let's do it using the, uh, the optimizer mode. Okay. So we're going to build it with min uniques one, I guess. Okay. And we're going to build 1500 and run the optimizer mode. Let's try it. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, we can discard them. This is fine. All right. Let's see how long this is going to take. No, this is not bad. And we're only building this for the purposes of creating a field. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done a separate build because I just deleted that other lineup build that I did, which I wanted to keep. Okay, but that's okay. Well, we waste a little bit of time, but not, not that bad. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So this is going to be the field. It's going to be the, the the it's going to be the the optimized. Uh, yeah, but the problem here is this doesn't make any sense, right? Because if you did it this way, you'd be getting seventy eight percent of Draper, and that's just not reality. So maybe this is a bad idea. So now we have to go back to the old build. And we'll just have to do it again. So we'll use, again, Sim. Here, once again, we'll rebuild lineups. And then all this is just, just to, to come up with some estimate of what the field is going to do to compare our lineups to. So let's just see. And I wonder if I need to start a brand new build. I might have did I did I make Saberson mad by doing it this way? See, normally you'll see like, oh no, there they are. Okay. Um yeah, this is more like it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use build one then as our representative field. So what we're gonna do is go into contests. And then for both of these, we're going to use build one, sorry, build one as our contest field. Okay, and now we can run our sims. And now what we're doing is comparing our, you know, 1500 lineups to our, to our, to ourselves. You know, we're simming against our, our own lineups. 
And I think that's probably the best you can do with tennis right now. Otherwise, you really put pressure on yourself to have really, really just ridiculously good ownership projections, which I have yet to find any good ones. So I think that from what my work dictates, this is this, like what I just did, these 1,500, this is the best representation of what the field is going to do. Something like that. Okay. So what we have now is we have uh, everything has been simmed right now. And we can then go back to go, you know, go back into min uniques two and whatever. So let's go ahead and do that. But now we could let let's let's add the the average projected score to the metrics. But uh we're gonna also keep this min destination ROI in 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 view to see what gets dinged. So 30316 now it goes to 30315 and now it goes to 30 three, five. So that was a big drop. So let's just go back to min uniques two. And then we can, either, we can either fill these auto or directly. Um, we could do direct fill here. And so what we'll do is we'll go, uh, well, actually this is okay. If we do it this way, it's going to duplicate these. So what we can do, we'll go, we'll go um, auto fill then. And we'll put breakpoint above this, so that that way the the highest the best lineup is going to go here, and then the rest are going to go into into line painter, and we should be good to go. And we'll save these. And thusly, should be good. Um, and so, if you guys want to see what uh, what this was, what this turned out to be, we could check the uh, the uh, the exposures here, and we'll actually be getting this sixty eight percent. Well, let's do it by drafted percentage. That's same thing. So Monfi's uh, number one, sixty-eight percent. Then Greek Spore, Michelson, Tabio, Draper. It gives you an idea of what we got. Um, the only thing that I think that we should probably do, which I just forgot, is let's just make sure these aren't too duped. And one little way to kind of like double check that is to do this this uh, geo mean filtering. And this has been very, very effective for tennis, just as a spot check to make sure that we're not overduping. So what we're going to do is we're look at the 1,568 entrants, and we're going to put that in our geo mean calculator just to see. Is it going to be 20? I'm just guessing. Is it 23 again? I used to know all these by heart. So 1,568 entrants. If we only want one dupe, for example... Uh, 29.3, so we should be, I mean, I don't think anything's going to be more than 29.3 from the, what I had seen. Let's take a look. But it couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> I mean, nothing's nothing's more than 29.3 here. But it is kind of probably good. Good form to in any way. Twenty nine. Less than twenty nine. Good. And as you can see, it really didn't change anything because I don't think any lineups got dinged. We we'll go back to autofill. Should be in good shape. Save to contests. And we should be good to go. All right. I uh, hope that guys hope that helped guys. Um, and uh, obviously hope we do well, but hopefully you guys are learning about, you know, good processes and I'm kind of learning as I'm doing this as well. Uh, that's it. Good luck, everybody.